Hello, traders. Well, we enter the new week with uh, the continuing backdrop of geopolitical risk uh, and some major central bank meetings this week. Geopolitically, obviously, that conflict, unfortunately, in Israel is still ongoing and seems to have escalated over the weekend. So um, we could see some further upside to gold uh, and oil this week. Gold obviously broke out strongly last week on that safe haven status above 2000. But if you look at the charts there, this the all-time highs in 2022-23, that above that 2010 to 2067 level, there's a lot of chop has been previously. So expect a bit of volatility, I think, in the precious metal if we do get above that 2010. But certainly one to watch against that, um, obviously, that safe haven flows going in there. With the central bank action Tuesday, we start off with the Bank of Japan. Now, this is an interesting one. We've seen um, the dollar yen hit that uh, intervention or the line in the sand at 150 last week and bounce off a little bit. Um, if you take a brave trader, I think, to be long, the dollar yen around here, it's possible that the Bank of Japan will do a tweak to their YCC or their yield curve control. Um, no major policy changes as far as rates go besides that, but they one to watch out for too is their inflation um, forecast. If we see a forecast over 2%, we're probably looking at some normalization uh, of Japanese rates in the future. So that'd be certainly one to watch. Wednesday, FOMC, uh, big one again, but um, it looks the market's pricing in fully a hold there. Seems the uh, the rates markets are doing a pretty good job for the Fed with that 10-year yield touching on over 5% last week, tightening financial conditions. So they have every reason to hold pat, and that's what the market is expecting. Uh, Bank of England on Thursday. Uh, this one looks like a hold as well. Uh, the last meeting was a hold. It was on a knife edge, a very close vote, but there's been very little data since then. So no real reason for any of those members to change their vote. So expect a hold there again. And obviously Friday is the always exciting non-farm payrolls. Um, it's, it's predicted to um, moderate slightly from the blockbuster figure we had last month. But uh, as always, expect some volatility around that. So I think the chance to watch this week, certainly watch those yields. If they can touch on 5% again, this causes um, a lot of pressure upwards on the US dollar, which had a bit of a, a mixed week last week. Oil, um, oil and gold, obviously, on this ongoing conflict will certainly uh, have a, um, a, a tailwind behind them as well. You'd think also the dollar yen, watch it around that 150 level, especially around that uh, Bank of Japan meeting.